Sun's just setting over the mangroves now, and um, I'm here with Brooke again. Hi, Brooke. Hi, Nick. How's it going? Can you hold that for me? Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. All right, so pretty much the tide's going to be going out, sun's dropping down, the big crabs should be coming out, so we're going to walk these mangroves and see what we can find tonight. I've got the net, in case there's any uh, fast-moving crabs, and our bare hands, that's what we need. So, yeah, we're going to head out. Midgies are out already, though. Yeah, it's oh, oh, I'm gonna stop my toes so bad on that. <sighs> All right, now we just have to wait for dark, and then we can head out there. Righty, guys, so we're in here now. Um, it's fully dark. Tide's perfect. It's sort of just under our knees, and we're looking for big crabs, potentially even blue swimmers, sand crabs. We don't know what we're gonna come across, but a big mud crab is the goal, obviously. And I've got the net because. Yeah, it's just gonna be super stressful, you know, stirring it all up and if we lose the crab. So with this, I can just chomp, scoop it up, chuck it in the backpack. Um, Brooke's got a super big light with her. <laughs> you can't even see me. Yeah, it's it's bloody huge. And so cheers, Brooke. This is probably a bit out of your comfort zone. Yeah, for sure. Yep, but we're uh, still making our way through. So hopefully we'll find one and we'll uh, check back in if something exciting happens. Hopefully there's no stone for <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we're looking for. Crabby, crabby, crabby. He's a little fella though. I don't know if you can see that guys. My torch is about to run out, but there's a baby squid right there. Hey buddy. Oh, torch just died. Whoa. Look at him. So they get attracted to the light. He's a bit small though. So I'll leave him. There he goes. Oh, the torch. I just fucked out the torch. <laughs> no, that's not funny. Okay. I just dropped the fucking torch. Come with me, because I don't have a light. There's a mud crab. There's a mud crab. Man, he's way too small, but I want to scoop him up for you. Okay. All right, guys. That's a mud crab. It's a little girl, I reckon. Yeah. It's a little male. No, it's a female. It's a male. Oh, it's a male. That's a little male mud crab. He's too small, but it's good to know that he's out because that's exactly what we're looking for. So we'll pop him back. Let's come out of this stirred up bit. My torch. Oh, dad's going to be so mad. This is dad's expensive work torch. I just dropped it straight in the water. It's not working anyway. But I broke it. <laughs> All right, let's release him here. I'm going to shine the torch down and then run. I'm not running. He's coming for you. <laughs> yes. Alright, see you later, mate. Oh, I'm sinking. sinking. <laughs> it all happened real quick, guys, but I just caught a big mud crab. Now, I can tell that's a female because see how small her nippers are? Like, she is legal size. That is 15 centimeters across the. <laughs> you jump more than me. It's uh, 15 centimeters across the body there, which is the uh, legal size. But if you have a look underneath. Oh no, that's a male! Brooke, that's a massive round, different color. How is that a male? Wait, what's, you, what's the, the male? The male, right? It was completely white and it was just a triangle. Uh, what's but the female is that big around. round bit. Okay. Yeah. Brooke's got it around the opposite way. <laughs> so lucky I'm here. But yeah, that big round bit. That's a female now. We'll chuck it back. I just wanted to show you. That's a legal size crab. If we were in, you know, a different state or something Wait. where you can take that. But we don't want to lose a toe. Flip her around. She should let go. And I'll get some. Try and follow me. That was your spot though, good job. I told you, I know, this one is the biggest one too. <laughs> You're redeeming yourself I'm after redeeming the uh, fishing challenge, aren't you? Yeah. There he is, you can see his legs. No. There he is. Alright, we'll let him go. No point catching him, he's undersized. Oh, big sinkholes. It's like walking through quicksand. 
So we're going to try and be really safe and not get stuck. Because if we got stuck, the tide would come back up and drown us. There's a big flathead there, guys. Gonna try and catch it. Oh no! I didn't get it, but it, I don't think it moved. That was an epic fail. There it is. I know. There it goes. Fight you. Oi, squid, 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 squid. Brooke, Brooke, hold the GoPro, hold the GoPro. Don't move, don't move. I got it! Oh my I God. got it! <laughs> I got a huge squid! Oh, it's got it's oh, about to squid on us! It's about to squid oh. on us! Look at the size of it! Whoa! We caught a squid! Look at the fuck! Wait, not near me! No, it's facing its mouth the other oh, way. Okay. Chuck us a Shine in there! Look at the size oh of that bad boy! Oh my God! We can chuck that in the bag, Brooke. <gasps> that's holy crap! That's something already. We're looking for crabs, oh. but we've come across a bycatch. Big squid, nearly lost him. Holy crap! <sighs> <That's such laughs> oh Alright, let's take God. it off. I'll karate chop it. Yeah. And then we can chuck it in the bag. Okay. Oh my God! You, no way you just caught a freaking <laughs> No squid. way, look at the freaking size of it too. Oh, look at the size of him. I was trying to catch squid in an earlier episode, remember guys? And I just couldn't get a big one. But here he is. Now I'm just gonna put him on this log and quickly put him out of his misery. Just karate chopped him. He's dead. Um, bit of ink coming out, but we'll whack this guy in the uh, in the bag and keep going. Look at it. Oh my god! I've never seen a squid that big before. I know it's massive. See, I just completely turned white. That's because he's out now. And um, yeah, I'll just give him a wash. Alrighty. Alright guys, got the Woolies bag inside my backpack. First catch, straight in. That's it, we'll keep we'll keep going. That's exactly why I brought the net because we can just scoop up anything that moves quickly. So yeah, we'll keep heading on, keep looking for these crabs, but that's a video and that's a really nice feed. Squid is amazing, so yeah, super happy with that. Let's do it. Welcome guys to my temporary kitchen. This is where we'll be cooking the squid from last night and I've got all the ingredients I need here. I've cleaned out the squid. We've kept the tentacles and the, uh, I think they call it the hood, just the, uh, the body of the squid. So first of all, you sort of just want to dry your squid. So we've got some paper towels and we just want to get all the excess moisture off, dry them. Even after these squid are dead, like, the tentacles still suck onto you, it's so crazy. What you want to do, is put your knife in, and just cut down the side here. Now we're not making traditional calamari rings, we're going to cut it up into small pieces. <laughs> this is so professional. It looks really good. It looks good. so good. Look how big this squid is. We're gonna score the inside of the hood here. So don't cut all the way through, but you just wanna score it. So put these uh, diagonal cuts through, which will help uh, get the, the flavor into it. I'm just gonna cut it up into small pieces, so. There's a lot of squid here. I can't believe this is all from one squid. Can you believe it? I don't know. So ingredients wise, what I've got is, we've just got some plain flour, salt and pepper, and I've got some garlic salt. It's got heaps of salt in it already, so we don't need heaps of that. And just a tiny little bit of chili ground. Now, we're gonna put all this into some Ziploc bags, shake it all around, and that'll be ready to go. So, I don't know if it's all gonna fit in the one bag, we just want to put a little bit in there. You put about that much in. That's all. 
Oh, I just remembered we don't actually need the uh, breadcrumbs, so that's all good. We're just going to use the flour here. But we'll smash it with some pepper. Heaps of pepper. Don't need heaps of salt, but we'll put a little bit in there. Some of this garlic salt. Oof. Chili ground. I don't want much of this. Super spicy stuff. That's probably enough there. Just shake that up a bit. And we'll put our squid in there now. Bloop. Should all fit in that one bag, hopefully. Zip it up. Now we can just mix it all around. Oh crap. We don't want it to pop, but shake it all around. Yeah, look how well that's worked. It's completely covered it. That's been perfect. All right, guys, you can see that's mixed up pretty well because none of it's stained on the bag. It's all um, it's all on the squid. So with that done, we'll get some... I'm pretty sure we just cook it now. Man, this is going quick. So I'll turn this on. Yep. We got some heat crank in there. Now we'll put four cups of oil, which is probably going to be about... About that much. Trying to be a little bit healthier. Everyone's been commenting about how much oil I just like bloody pour into these pans, and I'm basically drinking it out of the out of the bottle. So I'm gonna try and go a bit easy on the oil today for you guys. Be a bit more, you know, healthy. So <laughs> yeah, we put a little bit less oil. It's still like a liter. <laughs> yeah. So oil's been cooking for a little bit. So grab a pinch of this flour. See if it's ready. It's not ready. Oh, I should be ready now, guys, so grab a pinch and, uh, yeah, look at that. Hopefully this all fits in. I got this big wok looking thing, uh, stepping it up a bit. So let's see. Look at that. Oh, in it goes. Here's the tentacles. I knew I was going to do that. Oh, careful. I dropped it and it burnt me. I don't know if it's all going to fit. Should I cook it in sections? I can see this, the pepper on it. It's like actual salt and pepper squid. It looks so good. Right, I'll... It doesn't all fit. I'll put the rest in, but... <laughs> We've got to be careful. Yeah. I just recently was cooking bacon. Splattered all over my hand. I had blisters everywhere. So, yeah, gotta be, got a bit of PTSD from this oil. Oh, it hit, landed on me a little bit. So I got some paper towels, whacking in here. And this is the terrifying part. Oh, the oil's been popping like crazy. It's just that big one. Do you reckon that's it's done? No. Maybe we leave that in for a bit longer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible I do. Oh look how little, they're like golden. Right, first batch. We get these ones. Chuck them back in the oil. Amazing. And I'm gonna pour a little bit of that on top of this guy there. I'm used to having heaps of breadcrumbs and crap, but like, look at it. It's it's like that perfect golden color, but it still looks really healthy. I think big boy's ready. My goodness. God, it looks like a fully fledged kraken sitting on the plate. Give those a little bit more. They're nearly done. I'm a terrible cook, but look at me now. Bloody Gordon Ramsay in the house. <laughs> look at it, it's crispy orange. We'll get them out too. They're even crispier. Just when I didn't think it could get any crispier. No! Were you filming that? I dropped them in the sand. Oh, can't believe you got that. Yeah. <laughs> That'll be alright. Oh, 
Look at that. There we go, guys. Now, I've got the cutest little thing in the world. It's a mini Cupie bottle. If I can get it out. You guys know I love my Cupie. You always ask, what is it? It's Cupie, K-E-W-P-I-E. -E. It's a weird spelling. Actually, there it is right there. They should be in your local um, supermarket stores, whatever, and they're just these really delicious little bottles of white, like Japanese mayonnaise, and my God, it's good. This one's from Japan. This one is from Japan, and uh, we're gonna load it up now. You ready? There we go, QB. And last but not least, get this lemon. There we have it, guys. Crispy calamari, bit of tentacles there, some lemons, some QP. What more could you want in life? That's like. Oh, incredible. This is like the most gourmet meal I've ever cooked. So, let's squeeze some lemon on. I'm gonna grab this crispy piece in the cupie. Don't go sting. I'm about to drop a plate. Is it hot? <laughs> oh, that is so good. I think I overcooked the squid last time because they were smaller and um, they were a lot more chewy, but this is like. Perfect. Oh, this is fully tender. Mmm. See the golden sort of crisp on the outside and the white meat on the inside. Have some. <laughs> what do you reckon? Mm. Like, as someone who doesn't eat that much seafood, mm. pretty good? Squid. Mm. Oh. Oh, the Cupie, that's way better than Tartare. Bit of lemon, bit of Cupie. Mm. Oh. Mm. Alrighty guys, I'm going to uh, finish off this squid now. Uh, go hop in the shade and enjoy it. Now, I want to say a special thanks to Brooke for helping me film the last two episodes. And um, yeah, and I'll be back soon. But I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. I'm gonna go smash this down now. Mm. Thanks guys.